guys, welcome to this week's My Halifax. My name's Adam Cooper. It is a gorgeous sunny afternoon here in Halifax and it's Pride. So let's go check out the Pride Parade. The first Pride Parade happened in Halifax it was in around the late 80s. There was around 75 people and some of them wore paper bags to cover their faces because they were scared that they would either lose their jobs or be attacked. And that kind of Pride event was more for protest to kind of get equal rights for people of the rainbow community. Now when we look at Pride we see it more as a celebration and inclusion which is great because we've come a long way but there's still a long way to go. So events like Pride are really important to celebrate acceptance and help people understand and embrace such an amazing part of the city. Things I've always loved about Pride, and you know I've gone to these last week on the floor as well, um, is just this energy that's, a, that's in part of the parade, and it's just an energy of like hope and love and acceptance. And it's that thing that Pride is really trying to teach everyone about equality. And it's really important when you think about it that we all embrace that equality because we all want the same things. We all want everyone to be happy and feel loved and feel respected. And whenever I'm at a Pride Parade, that's what oozes out there. It is so amazing to see all the different floats, a lot of different people walking to take part in what effectively is now a celebration. And I just love the spirit and the energy that the community brings into Halifax when it happens. So Gino, I've actually come away from the parade route because as you can imagine, it's a bit of a dance party down there, it's pretty loud and people are squirting water everywhere so, you know, as much as I'd like to see you guys see me get squirted in the face, I thought it'd be easy if I could talk to you about the water. Um, there's events happening throughout the week for Pride. Uh, this Before the parade started, there was actually a rainbow run which was really cool, it was nice to see everyone cheering everybody on. Um, some people got super competitive and sprinted to the end which was amazing, I think it's 5k. Um, but there's just such a wide range of events happening. It's just a really great time to be in the city and just experiencing such a different take on Pride and different ways of seeing it, more than just the parade itself. So the Pride Parade is actually drawing to a close right now. Um, still people having really lots of fun, still dancing and singing. There's actually an after party setting up as well, which I'm told is probably the best place to dance, especially outdoor. Um, they're doing this just in the, car, the garrison grounds, which is a great space, especially for outdoor events. So it's really cool to check it out, especially if you like a summer dance off. So that's the end of this week's My Halifax. Once again, we're at the Pride Parade and we had lots of fun. I know my piece of the camera has been a bit repetitive. I've been talking about quality and acceptance and inclusion a lot, but I feel like those are really important things. And a lot of times with Pride, uh, you know, it, it's a place where people think of it as a parade, but there's a lot of causes that it's there to support and it's there to represent, and I just want to do that justice. Um, so I apologize for you've had it, but I do think it's important that we have those conversations. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week. So hopefully it's not too repetitive and hopefully you can understand where we're coming from. I think it's just going to be too loud as well. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of the week's video. Hit the big round subscribe button so you never miss one of our videos. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media links below. And we've got a couple of videos here we thought you might like to see.